So typically you will be working with mailing lists. So let's, for example, add a file. Uh, file C. And, you know, put something in here. Add it. Commit it. And then what you want to do is format patch. This will format the file so that it will show the changes you made. Here one just means that it's going to format the latest commit. If you put two, it's going to format the two uh, latest commits. But let's do one. And then it will create this file which if we look at this file it will have uh, the changes that we made and uh, you can uh, put some comments here to explain the commit or something and if you want to make new changes you can uh, do this again but with like v2 v3 v4 but uh, you know I guess I should show you what to do first. So you can do git send email and then what we are going to do is just send this file which contains the changes we made to and to the mailing list right to the email so some I don't know gmail.com and if you want cc you can do that someone and then it's going to uh, oh and then we can just send this email but before you need to set up the email first for it to work and you'll have like a password it will work with Gmail but uh, can just do yes and then it will ask for a password and then you know you have sent it to the mailing list then someone will review it maybe ask for some changes which uh, if you want some changes let's say what is it, file let's see let's say we want to make some changes so what you want to do is uh, revert the commit you made with git reset soft head one again the one here is going to revert the latest commit if you want to revert uh, two commits then you know you put two but we're just going to do one and then we can just recommit it right recommit the new file And then git format again and then do patch v2 and then you probably want to list all the changes that you have made in the version 2 of the patch you know, add something right add comments or something and then we'll just send the email again and then yeah that's how you do it if someone reviewed your patch you may want to CC him uh, in the v2 uh, but uh, yeah that's pretty much it and of course you need to actually set up the thing first uh, you can Google that with uh, for the git config and then the Gmail, but I think you need to edit this file dot git config in your home, and then you need to set up your name, your email, and then a password in the Gmail setup. So yeah, hopefully that was useful.